Hi, Niklas. Perfect. I'm so Hi, glad you can meet uh, again and uh, have uh, this interactive interview. So um, I actually want to know from you what you think. Why are we here today? Well, we're here because I know you, Sasha. I know Prime Computer, and we've been in contact for quite some time now. And at the moment, uh, Nick and my company were considering to buy computers from you because we believe that actually the values of our company and of your company also in terms of sustainability, but also other factors are quite interlined. And uh, I love that you're approaching sustainability not from a, let's say, typical fashion airplane uh, food perspective, like more from the IT perspective, because many people also are not realizing how important that is for sustainability or for like the environment. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm happy to be here and talking to you. Amazing. So let's, let's uh, um, for, for our viewers, just give a, a small intro of uh, who we are, a short elevator pitch. So who are you and then I go on. Sure. Uh, I'm Nicholas. I'm Nicholas Henny. I'm the co-founder and CEO of uh, yeah, Nikon. It's a sustainable clothing brand from Switzerland that plants one tree for each product sold. And with that, we have already planted over 500,000 trees. And um, I think you, Sasha, also have something from us, but I'm not sure what. <laughs> what yeah. What, what are you doing? <laughs> so my name is Sasha. I'm CEO and a member of the board of directors from uh, Prime Computers. Prime Computer, which actually um, helps uh, to helps companies to realize their digitization and environmental goals while reducing their lifetime cost of ownership. And my personal view is uh, to help and motivate people to uh, think a little bit more sustainable and to be the best version of themselves. Exactly. Hmm. And, and do you remember, how do we get to know each other actually? <laughs> yeah, remember, so um, everything is um, nowadays to, to uh, a great social media um, and personal branding story. And I, I saw you uh, early on last year and we connected in December, I think. And then I tried to, uh, to figure out a way how we meet because um, I thought that uh, you are a sensational person and human being. So we needed to see each other. And then we met early in, in January to see you. Uh, I, I came to Landsberg to Nikki to your headquarters sure. and, and then we talked and actually we had a great conversation about uh, different aspects and not uh, not in general about the company obviously also but about all ourselves and I thought and since then actually we are in regular contract uh, every every few weeks or month and um, this is uh, and you mentioned early on not just this aspect but we have figured it out for I think in a, in a, in a few months or, or the upcoming time things how we can merge uh, our ideas or even um, perspectives of our companies true and i mean fashion and it doesn't sound so interlined but but they are for sure some things <laughs> absolutely yeah. everybody about, needs fashion everybody needs it so definitely but about sustainability i mean what do you believe like is this, what, why is sustainability more than just a trend topic yeah so here i think you need to look at the bigger picture and this is obviously also in, in special climate change. So we can feel it year over year. If you see the last five years have been the warmest in worldwide history since ever recording in 1988, um, in 1880. So with 219 at a peak, which was at 1.2 degrees higher than um, the pre-industrial uh, baseline temperature. So natural disasters, um, cost us in last years about 650 billion and we are currently losing by factor 100 um, faster animal species than ever before. Biologics even talk about mass extinction and this is also due to the fact of climate uh, change and hearing those facts actually makes me thick. So I decided and told myself that I'm not just raising awareness but I want to do more. That's why Prime Computer um, mission is to focus on helping companies reaching their environmental goals. We humans need to change. We need to adapt our behavior because we can talk about politics, governments, but yeah. everything at all are we humans. And it's not only something uh, nice to do or a trend anymore, but it's a necessity for each individual. And I say to act in a sustainable manner and to save it's to save the children and the future exactly so hearing and being able to express that um we at prime computer um it is a central point but 
as you mentioned earlier, it is sustainability is an absolute central point for Nikin. Um, you even integrated it in every aspect in every product you do. So speaking about that, it is often understood in, in a var variety of ways. So what is sustainability meaning to you or to Nikin? Mm -hmm. I mean, you just mentioned it. Uh, the issue is that there's no like accepted def general definition of sustainability. Everybody sees it in a different way. So we at Nick can also have on one hand different views depending on the area, but in general, what I personally believe is that sustainability uh, means to create solutions or do things that are durable, that make sense over time in so many areas. And um, we're always questioning it, for example, um, when it comes to products. The local production and good materials uh, or recycled materials not always the most sustainable solution also has to uh, endure so there's always like you always have to look at all the facts and be aware and i think in personal life also i believe being conscious in your consumer behavior i think that's one of the most important things and that's for me sustainable it doesn't mean you have to be do everything perfect but you have to be conscious and like try to minimize your impact and i believe if everybody in this world make a little 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 bit more that this would have the biggest impact and um yeah, we can try to incorporate in every single aspect, but we're also not perfect. We always try to also be reasonable because um, if it's not reasonable, I think it's not sustainable because it's not durable in the end. And that's a little bit how we think about it. Can you give me an example how you implement sustainability at Nikin? Yeah, like I mean, for obvious tree. <laughs> well, we started just with the planting tree thing, and I didn't know what sustainable fashion means. When customers told us, hey, guys, you plant trees, but uh, you should be more sustainable, we're like, okay, what does sustainable fashion mean? And then we started to change some things like bringing almost all the production to Europe. So almost all our products are made in Europe. We changed from cotton to organic cotton, started to use recycled plastics, recycled like polis, recycled uh, ocean waste, and so on. And um, yeah, but we're still asking ourselves, for example, the winter hats are made of plastic. And some people say this, this should not be the case, even if it's recycled or not. But at the same time, they endure longer than, for example, um, recycled cotton from old jeans. We had that, but it loosens faster and you cannot use it for so long. So then there's a question, what is more sustainable in the end? The regeneration thing or that you can wear it for long? And for me, it's clear if you wear something long, a clothing piece, that's more sustainable, more important. But it again, it depends on the definition and what, how you measure it in the end. Yeah, you're right. Like that. Yeah, that's it. And But we have also a lot of issues with kind of economic success and sustainability and so on. But like, how do you see then the real tension between sustainability and also economic uh, success or is there one and if yes why yeah i think there is there is a tension obviously it, it releases more and more and um, this is something the point of view of people of government and politics changes um for the sake of, of our uh, mission uh, not for companies but also our vision of how the world should be um governments in the first place are responsible for creating a necessary uh, framework condition in mm -hmm. a timely manner and this is something that you hear also in the, in the recent months uh, more and more that they give up funds for companies etc but saying um, you need to take care you only allowed to, to spend those funds when you take care of um, integrating the system, uh, sustainability factor for car industry etc right this is a good mm -hmm. example that, that the french macron did that in this this week but in integrating this aspect. Now, I find that it's good. In particular, climate friendly and sustainably action must become simple and cost effective. This is something new mm -hmm. and I are really behind that. Why climate damaging action must become unattractive and expensive. So one way could be like Canada is implementing soon a, a carbon tax rate on certain um, uh, things. This could be something. Um, the private sector, so companies and humans itself should be focused on this topic. This is something I, I'm hearing, not because this is just in our uh, um, entourage, but this is really making more and more point on that. I think that the question is not that sustainability and economic are in, in a tension, but they should go hand in hand. So with decisions made, you need to always make decision um, about certain ways in a supply chain, like you already explained earlier, putting it more local or regional um, in the way 
and um, behaving concerning resources, concerning uh, um, IT infrastructure, um, concerning uh, the more circular way. This is something I'm really intrigued that you can reuse it or implement it already by um, uh, creating a new product, thinking of how can we do it from the beginning in a more sustainable way. Um, and from our perspective is um, the whole digitization aspect. I mean, we saw it the last three months, how it really paced uh, um, forward. So there um, you need to think of um, the resources of energy, of long term, of not sawing everything away. And there we came in. And one fact is the time is now to act and not to wait. Yeah. Yes, that's true. So this is a little bit about uh, our companies and about uh, how we think about the cooperation, but um, on a personal level. So I think the viewers also like to know uh, a little bit more <laughs> us and our mindset. And um, I mean, uh, Nikki grew fast. Your, your story is well known, um, but you have a role as CEO and Chief Marketing yeah. Officer. How did that role change over the last uh, years? Well, in the beginning, I was not only CMO, CEO, I was also chief logistics, chief customer service and all of it. No, not really, but like uh, I did a lot. And basically in the beginning, when you build up a startup, especially small, um, basically just do everything. And the whole responsibility for every single task is on you. And you have to be always alert. I mean, the whole night, if the web shop doesn't work, I mean, I'm the one fixing it at three in the morning. But now things changed. Our team grew. I had to delegate a lot of responsibility. And instead of just doing it by myself, I'm more, let's say, creating the framework for people to thrive and work. And I think that's more my job now. Of course, some strategic decisions, but creating a framework for people to perform well. And I think that's actually what changed the most during all that time. Yeah. And yeah, so that's it. A lot of things are different now. And I mean, that's why I was also wondering, like, if you could do the whole thing, like prime computer and so on, everything again, like, would you do something completely different or, or how would that be? It's a really interesting question. And this is a question that people always think of. And if, if I'm looking at myself where I am now, I would say no, because we are who we are due to the things and decisions we made. Um, that's the current state in where we are now. And I, I see myself that I did a lot of uh, failures in my life, um, uh, which made me a better man, a better person, uh, making better decisions. But also I did obviously some good things. And if I wouldn't have uh, in this, I wouldn't be here now. And I'm pretty happy with who I am. Um, obviously, the, uh, back you could say, yeah, I would have made this decision better, would make me a little bit more, uh, uh, would have positioned ourselves a little bit better. But at the end, um, even if, if let's just assume our companies wouldn't have any success in the future, uh, because I don't know, um, <laughs> wouldn't make sense. But uh, um, so we still had have that or had that what we have currently um, and the learning process. And I... I wouldn't regret anything because that's how we are. Ah, that's nice to hear. And I mean, failing is also learning. I mean, I would say. <laughs> but I mean, you're also having a team of people now and so on. And uh, in general, you talk to a lot of like uh, people. Like, but what I was wondering once, like uh, when you talk to people, like which sentence are you particularly suspicious of when you talk or people talk to you and so on? How, how is that? Yeah. So there's one thing uh, which I really hate, um, and I'm telling everyone around me, not my employees, but also family, is um, no, I have no time. I'm too busy, and that's that's a new thing. That's that's like a trend topic, right? I'm too busy for that. I'm too busy for that, and that's not <laughs> obviously. I mean, you know, in your fun function as well, we have a lot of time-consuming stuff, but it is not like that. If you have the possibility to do something, it is a priority to you, and. Um, Sure, you then don't put a priority on sending an email out. So you say, rather than it is not important to me or it's not priority, um, you say, I have no time. But this is a mental thing. Um, you, mm. This is why I try to um, elevate everyone here in not saying I am too busy, I have no time, but think if I go to someone and say, um, this would be, yeah, but I have a lot to do. Yeah, you're right, totally. 
put it on your list, make a priority in the next few days. And if it's important to you, then it will be done. Um, obviously, you can integrate a little bit more if it's more important to you, then maybe it's more important to me. Um, but <laughs> having having no time is something I really hate uh, uh, saying and hate hearing. We can do it differently. And all starts by setting up the right mindset. The uh, same question at, uh, or towards that is, if you, um, I mean, I've seen a few of your clips. Um, you're also a, a speaker uh, in, in some ways when you have the opportunity. Um, mm. And if you do that, obviously you're you're nervous. Uh, it is natural at the before going out. And if you listen to what what great sports men and women do, they have always great moments before the one before a big game, etc. And if you ask them, "Are you nervous?" No, I'm excited. Right? They mm. always say that because nervousness gives you a feeling. But if you manipulate your own brain by saying, "No, I'm excited about what's going on," because yeah, sure, it's maybe a little bit scary, but it's a good feeling. I, I like that. Um, I know that I'm going to do good because you need to be prepared, obviously. Um, so if you say yourself about a lot of things instead of I'm scared, or I'm nervous, I'm excited about that, then your brain starts to react differently. Oh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so what it's 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 simple question and yet again no because um there could be so different answers answers to that but i'd like to really to know who are your own models well i have actually two um one of them is elon musk um because Amen. i just believe he's an incredible person when it comes to visionary thinking i mean he's one of the people who thinks not only outside of the box he thinks outside of this universe and i really <laughs> admire him for actually trying to make his dreams reality that 99.999% of the world will tell him that he's absolutely crazy to do so. And um, that's why I really admire him for that. And another person I admire for other reasons is uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, actually. For I mean, he's uh, one of the craziest people when it comes to personal branding and content and, and content, content, content. But I believe his energy and his way of motivating people and uh, to do things different or do actually things in their life is incredible, in my opinion. That's why these two people are kind of role models. Of course, they have some sides that I don't admire. But like if I look at them as a person, they inspire me. And for me, they are to a certain ex extent really role models. Yeah. That's a great example. I, if I would pick in, in a variety of five people, I would put probably book also uh, two of those. Um, <laughs> last time, Simon Sinek is also one of the great minds. Yeah, of but Gary, yeah, I'm um, being grateful and uh, thankful for a lot of things and don't caring about what other people say, but doing it on your own mind. Uh, an amazing um, character. Um, totally. Now, um, I would be going with you to the end of this interactive interview. And what we do always at the end is a little a little game called 60 Seconds. And um, I'm going to ask you uh, this or this. And uh, you tell me what you think you uh, favor most. Is that OK for you? OK, sure. <laughs> okay. Let's start. Mm -hmm. Cooking or baking? Cooking. Car or bike? A uh, bike. Spring or fall? Definitely spring. Uh. Tent or hotel? I'm a scout, so tent. <laughs> Reading or watching TV? Watching TV. Theory or practice? Practice. Gut person or head person? Both, but I've had to choose gut person. <laughs> okay. Are you a dreamer or a realist? A realistic dreamer. <laughs> Fruit or vegetable? Uh, vegetable. iOS or Android? Formerly iOS, now Android. <laughs> Tablet or PC? PC. Right or left-handed? Right-handed. Hip-hop or house music? Uh, reggae. Nice. <laughs> no, no, no hip-hop, I would say, if I had to choose. <laughs> OK, perfect. Good ending. Amazing. Thank you so much for your time. I, you I really appreciate it. I, I know that we're going to see each other live again soon. That's a good thing. And I'm uh, uh, happy that we had that time. No, definitely. Thank you as well. And have a great time, Sasha. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.